What's going on, people? Mike Seatown here with another episode of Records and Ramblings. Before we get to the records, let's do a little bit of rambling. So, Happy New Year, I guess. This is my first vinyl video of 2020. Uh, New Year, same me, I guess. I thought about doing something different for this New Year, but I got nothing. I'm boring and bland and dry, and y'all should know that by now. Actually, come here. Somebody really wants to say hi in a video. Come here, girl. Oh, hey everybody, this is Zoe. Say hi. Say hi. She does, she does not like being held that way. But typically, I don't let her in here because she starts knocking shit over and starts crying, right? Starts wanting to climb on me while I'm talking. So, I'm just letting her say hi. Oh, goodness. Right? Right? She's saying hi. And then she has to go. Bye, girl. So yeah, I know I look and sound like complete shit. I caught some kind of bug on Tuesday and it put me on my ass for like two days. I don't know what the fuck it was, but it was bad. It was like some kind of mutated amalgamation of like salmonella and Ebola or some shit, but headaches and dizziness and shortened of breath and congestion and all kinds of, all kinds of nonsense. I was, I was really praying for death to take me on Tuesday night for real. But um, yeah, I'm just now getting to the point of feeling decent drinking my fluids. But one more thing before we get into this. Um, I want to give a quick shout out to the homie Eric Bauer. Um, I've mentioned his podcast High Defamation before, but it's been a while, so I'm mentioning it again. Eric did great videos, as most of you guys know, so of course his podcast is going to be fucking fire too. It's a monthly podcast highlighting a lot of great punk, hardcore, some old school death metal, some first wave black metal, all good stuff. And you know Eric is a fucking encyclopedia of music knowledge, so you're always going to walk away from an episode learning something new. So yeah, you should go check it out. The link is down there in the description section. Anyway, yeah, let's, uh, let's get into some records. Speaking of people who used to do amazing videos, we're going to start off with some Bass Moo. Um, this is Black Sorcery from Within Arcane Caverns. This is Bass Moo's debut full length. And yeah, I was actually surprised to learn that I haven't shown this on my channel yet. But this is the kind of black metal I like. You know, raw, ugly, nasty, just gross sounding really, really, really evil. It has that feeling of being recorded in a dungeon, you know, but in the absolute best way possible. I haven't thought about it that much, but this might actually be, white vinyl, my favorite Bass Moo material, but all the stuff is great. And yes, the guy behind Bass Moo used to do uh, videos on YouTube under the name Bog Phantom, and his videos were great. I learned a lot from that dude, and I miss him. And uh, I'm going to show another Bass Moo record because I fucking feel like it. Yeah, this is uh, the newest album. This is Enshrined in Eternity. Um... Yeah, this is quite different from the other Bassman material. It's, it's a bit weirder. Uh, it's still raw and dark and gross sounding, but I don't know. The riffs are just really bizarre, and it gives it this really cool, creepy feeling. Um, yeah, this definitely should have been on my best of 2019 list. But honestly, I actually forgot that it came out this year. I've listened to it a lot, but... Bass Moo's got quite a few releases at this point, so I don't know. I, I think I was just thinking that this came out last year, but if you can see that, it says Hales Mike. Yeah, great guy, great music, definitely deserving of all of your support. So if you don't have any of this Bass Moo stuff, if you can still get it, definitely get it. Next I'm going to show you, this is Current 93 and Nurse with Wound with Bright Yellow Moon. So, I have this on CD and I've been trying to get out of the habit of buying things on multiple formats, but this popped up for a very, very nice price on eBay, so I couldn't resist it. Um, but yeah, I love this album. I love the soundscapes that Stephen Stapleton puts together. I love, I love, I love the bits that Michael Cashmore does, and Michael Cashmore is still in my opinion, the best neo-folk guitar player ever. Um, just listen to the song Walking, um, Walking Like Shadow and you'll see what I mean. It's just, it's just gorgeous. But um, yeah, what Tibet does on here is just, it's creepy and it's beautiful. Um, some parts of this obviously are a little bit more palatable than others, 
But um, yeah, all of it is like a really, really, really interesting listen. Here's the lyrics, printed inner sleeve. <sighs> Records are on black, so I won't bother showing you that. But yeah, one LP is the actual um, Bright Yellow Moon album. The other LP is the Pirtle release. Um, for those of you that are current 83 nerds like myself, you'll know Pirtle was a CD that you got with the CD version. Um, if you mail ordered it, I believe, I actually have the CD version as well, of course. But um, anyways, yeah. If you see this lying around for a decent price, you should definitely pick it up because it's, it's fantastic. Next record I'm going to show you, this is Forgotten Woods. Oh, this is their demo, um, the Forgotten Woods Demo 93 and the Through the Woods Demo 2, which also came out in 93. And I'm sorry, but I really just don't feel like taking this out of the, uh, the little thing here. So, you have to deal with the glare. But, yeah, I found this recently and was pretty excited about it. Um, I don't know that it's rare. It's probably not, but it was just cool to see it out in the wild. But, yeah, I love Forgotten Woods. They were actually one of the first black metal bands that I discovered completely by accident. I got... The Curse of Mankind at some random used bookstore. Um, the same bookstore that I actually found Leviathan at. So, yeah, and I bought it off the strength of the album cover. And I got home and I was like, holy shit, this is so fucking good. And this is when I was buying stuff just because it had a cool cover on it. And, um, yeah, yeah, really evil sounding black metal. And the vocals are just so nasty. But, yeah, this one is a bit different. Their two demos are... <coughs> excuse me, um, it's more raw and gross sounding than some of the other stuff, but, oh man, I seriously, I fucking love this stuff, so, yeah, Forgotten Woods, their demo material. Next one I'm going to show you, this is the Make a Change, Kill Yourself 2 LP, um, yeah, this is Ambient DSBM from Denmark, um, I ran across this at some random record store for like $20, which, it's not super rare, but $20 is a great price for this album, and I'm not really into a lot of uh, traditional DSBM, uh, I find a lot of it quite boring, um, but this one has really good riffs, and it's got this nice, relaxing atmosphere to it, um, the melodies are really cool, you know, some of it, uh, you might think I'm crazy, but some of it kind of reminds me of, like, older uh, Catatonia, just in the guitar work. But, um, yeah, I need to get more of their stuff. This is the only record that I actually have. Records on Black won't bother showing you that. All right, the next record I'm going to show you, this is Pharmacon with Contact. Um, I'm sure a lot of you guys know who Pharmacon is. Um, she got really popular really fast, but uh, she's a one-woman power electronics act and um, I've said before that I'm really picky with power electronics I'm not really into just the kind of harsh noise wall stuff I find that stuff to be super dull plus the fact that like every nerd now has a fucking noise project and all of it sounds exactly the fucking same and yes I sound like an old man but it's fucking true as someone that used to listen to a lot of that shit this stuff that's coming out now that's limited to like five cassette tapes that you can pay fucking $13 for with like $12 shipping you get it and it's literally just you can sit in your fucking car and flip through the fucking dial and just land on a station that doesn't have a clear reception and that's modern fucking bedroom dork noise anyways this stuff is not that this is actually layered um, there's a lot going on here there's these throbbing pulsing sounds and her tortured intense and insane vocals you know i think there's a lot to capture when you listen to something like this this stuff just fucking rules and the record is on i don't even know what fucking color you'd call that it's almost like a weird white person flesh color but with bruises on it which you know looking at the fucking artwork kind of would kind of make sense I don't want that little mini rant to make you guys think that I'm telling all you bedroom noise dudes to not make your bedroom noise. Keep making it, dude. If it makes you happy, then that's great, man. I'm happy for you. Just don't send that bullshit my way. Last record I'm going to show you in this edition of Records and Ramblings. This is Quelle Chris with Guns. So yeah, we go in this video with some hip-hops. With some hip-hops. What a rap set, Mike. What a rap set. Right here, bitch. Um, anyway, sorry. Yeah, this is, uh, Quelle Chris's most recent album. I won't get too deep into this because Dead and Hip Hop reviewed it, so if you want to know my thoughts, 
go check out that video. But this is great alternative hip hop. I feel like Quelle Chris has a really unique approach to rapping and lyricism. Um, and yeah, his beats are just fucking dope. This is like a, I don't know, it's probably supposed to be like a gold, but it looks more like baby shit color to me. Um, or that could just be sick Mike. That could be sick Mike shit. I don't know. Um, whatever. Anyway, um, yeah, this was definitely fighting to be in my top 10 for the year. It was like <coughs> number 12, probably. Um, I listened to it a lot this year, but it just got edged out. But uh, Mind Your Business is one of the best songs to come out of the whole year. Mind your motherfucking business. Mind your motherfucking business. Um, yeah, when I saw Quelle Chris in Atlanta, this is kind of funny, um, I met him, really nice guy, definitely weird, which I expected and which I appreciated, um, but <laughs> when I was saying goodbye to him <coughs> as I was leaving, uh, he goes, man, are you always in some nice leather jacket all smelling all good and shit? Man, dirty that motherfucker up, man. <laughs> I don't know why, but that shit cracked me up so hard. That dude's a fucking fool. But, yeah, that's going to do it. This edition of Records and Ramblings. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Um, yeah, if you're one of my patrons, keep an eye on my Patreon for something kind of special for you guys. But um, other than that, I'm going to see you guys soon. You know what I'm saying? As usual, thank you for living. Thank you for loving. Thank you for being you. And I'll see you guys next time. All right? Peace out, boy.